I know that you're going to agree with me, but I think that in terms of the issues that were covered in the debate last night, Hillary Clinton did a full face plan when it came to addressing the Clinton Foundation. Because the, the videos, maybe the audience, many of them had not seen these videos, but mm. certainly people have heard about the Clinton Foundation and yeah. the uh, pay to play the, the, that we found out in, in recent months. And also on the emails, so she tried to pivot mightily on both those issues. The emails she moves to Russia, the Clinton Foundation, she moves to all the great work that the, the charity has done. But with the Clinton Foundation, she, because she hadn't had to have it, hadn't had to answer it in the last two debates, but she did. She she tripped and fell on her face with that one. I think so too. And one of the, I think, just amazing juxtapositions of Hillary's position is that on one hand she talks about how she is such a champion for women, and then she takes all this money from countries where women can't get to school, they can't drive, uh, their honor killings. Uh, you know, if they're uh, gay, they get killed. Uh, you know, I, I'm just amazed that she would stand there with a straight face while her husband gets a million-dollar check for a five-minute meeting with some people from Qatar. Uh, she gets money by the hundreds of millions from Saudi Arabia for the foundation. And, and they're no champion of women or the rights of anybody. This is just astonishing to me. Mar Mark Penn, well, wh what do you think okay. Hillary's shining moment was? Well, I, look, I think the key moment of the debate was when, when Trump said he wasn't sure that he'd recognize the result, and, and she said that's horrifying. And I think she, she instantly, I think, uh, crystallized what Americans think. He's now departing from democratic norms without any real evidence. He could have said the opposite. Of course, I'm going to accept it unless, unless I find something later. Uh, instead, he took it from a position he's not going to tell us. She said horrifying. Not uh, quite that you know, shining contrary to democratic, uh, and contrary to democratic Marca, yeah, norms. I think, and I think it was a shining moment. Horrifying. I think that, 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 that's that horrifying. Is horrifying? It's not that shining. The results of the election in 2000 yeah. kept everybody in suspense for six uh -huh. weeks. And, you know, we yeah. look back on that and we say, look, we, we he eventually jump. conceded, but he thought that there was something going on there. And so he yeah. challenged the election. All Trump did was just say honestly and up front that if there's some funny business going on, but I don't think realistically that Donald Trump is going to challenge the election unless there's some basis or cause to because do so. Yeah. We've got to jump. Great analysis, guys. So Mark Penn, Kevin Huckabee. We'll see you soon, gentlemen.